Lawrence. At it again. Hello, Hilda. Are you training too? If that's the case, I may have to revise my opinion of you. Increased strength and skill would serve as perfect complements to your beauty and esteemed lineage. Um, no, I just left something here. I don't share your tireless work ethic. You're quite something. I don't think I've ever seen you take a break. When the fate of all the Alliance rests on your shoulders, the rigors of training seem paltry by comparison. Besides, when my admirers see that even an individual of my talent possesses a diligent work ethic, it is sure to inspire them. I see. But I was wondering... <laughs> Never mind. You're clearly busy. Oh, is there something you require? What do you need? There is nothing I cannot handle. Well, the trouble is, I'm no good at fighting. I'm a fragile young lady, not a fearsome warrior. I didn't even want to join the Academy, honestly. My brother made me. Of course. For a delicate flower such as yourself, no doubt battle must present a terrible hardship. <laughs> it does. It truly does. So I was wondering if, in the next training session, you'd do my fighting for me? I mean, I can put on a tough, I'm actually fighting kind of air, but that's not quite enough on its own. Please, leave all of the difficulty to me. I shall permit no harm to befall you. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. In that case, I'll focus on giving a convincingly soldierly performance. You know, Lawrence, you're a good guy. Not that I'd have expected anything less from a noble. With each of your foes that I vanquish, I shall only become ever stronger. Yes, leave it all to me. <laughs> What a guy. And all I had to do was ask. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a snack. Thank you, Lawrence. You've done so much for me. You've been a tremendous help. It was but a trifle. Surely there was no small amount of danger, but in the interest of experience, I was happy to endure. You're so strong that I can't help but feel safe in your presence. Yes, uh, of course. Although, no matter how much brute strength we bring to bear, it is important that there be a leader on the field as well. Without someone possessed of my sound judgment and adaptability, we would surely be lost. Surely, yes. My thoughts exactly. But, um... Hmm? Uh, what is it? I'm going to keep providing support from the back. You wouldn't mind doing more fighting for me, would you? Oh, well, uh, physically, I can, certainly. But if you mean on an everyday basis... Uh... I knew you would. You have the generous soul of a true noble. I'll have to write back home and sing your praises. Really? You mean to your father and brother? Oh, yes. I have to write my big brother pretty often, as a matter of fact. He gets upset if I don't. And yet, I never have much to write about. I've been really straining for topics. That must strike you as a terrible nuisance, the idea of me blabbing about you in my letters. Nuisance? Oh, hardly. Your brother is one of the foremost commanders of the Alliance. I can think of no higher accolade than to have my name passed onto his noble ear. Then I'll tell him about all your thrilling exploits. Although, if you can't help, that's okay, too. I'll find something else to write about. Oh, fear not. I shall show you exploits of a nature more thrilling than you could ever dream. Incidentally, when you write to him, please do not refer to me merely as Lawrence. <laughs> please use my full name, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. This will be an excellent opportunity to advance the status of the Gloucester name. <laughs> what a funny boy. Ah, there's yet another option. Lawrence, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Hilda. I'm using these pieces to represent soldiers on the battlefield. This will allow me to better visualize concepts of strategy. Very good. Is it fun? Oh, it is utterly engrossing. Look, swap out just certain pieces for others, and the board completely changes. 
then, even considering the same types of units, employing different individuals calls for a new set of plans. Oh, I see. Or I kind of see. It's hard for me to grasp really complex things like this. Nonsense. It's thanks to your many requests that I've been adapting my fighting style of late. Working to accommodate you has convincingly shown me how essential it is to rethink tactics on a continual basis. After all, the risk of getting hurt is greatly reduced if you are prepared for any situation. So now I will be ready for anything. Lawrence, you're so wonderful, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not just saying that to flatter you either, honestly. Tell me something, Hilda. Did you make all of these ludicrous requests of me purely so that I might have the opportunity to develop myself? Because if so, I am deeply moved. Thank you for caring so thoughtfully and passionately for my personal growth. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> if you will permit me to return the favor, I do have one request to make of you. Will you hear me out? Uh, I'm not usually one for fielding requests, but I can make an exception in your case, I suppose. I would be so pleased to have the opportunity to observe you in action, in the heat of battle. Would you be so kind as to oblige me? Oh, very well. You've convinced me. But if it gets too intense, you'll help me out, right? Lawrence! Lawrence, look! What is it, Hilda? Ah, a letter from your brother? That's right, though part of me thinks it's some stranger imitating my brother's handwriting. He's never given me this much praise. Hilda, you've learnt the value of persistence. You're really maturing, stuff like that. Usually his letters are like, I'm worried about you and stop being so lazy. Since I have fought by your side, I can assure you that his praise is genuine and entirely deserved. I've written about fighting in plenty of letters. Why is he so gushy this time around? I would venture to guess that your depictions of battle are more passionate than before. It's no surprise that such authenticity would resonate with a veteran warrior like your brother. If that's true, I have you to thank. You've inspired me to throw myself into battle. Does everyone think I'm a tough warrior now? I don't want to be stuck with their high expectations. Would that be so terrible? You are gifted, you know. Not to say that your lackadaisical nature has failed to endear itself to me. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. Speaking of letters, did you keep your promise? Did you, uh, mention me? I did. I told my brother all about you. I said you were a uniquely gifted leader who could inspire people to be their best selves. And I said that you'll be a real asset to the Alliance. I also told him how I wished you could join our family. He responded that he'd be honored to call you his brother. Truly? Oh, to have such a valiant brother would be beyond my wildest expectations. Um, Lawrence, you know what I mean about you joining our family, right? I believe I do. And I confess, if I am correct, that the same thought has preoccupied me as well. But you must forgive me. Now is not the time. Before we can consider our own future, we must first end this war. We must secure a peaceful world. And if we do attain a peaceful world, then what? Come on! Just say it. As much as I'd like to grant that request, I cannot. This is something that will deeply affect our lives. It must be said at the proper time and place, with the most artfully chosen words, and the perfect offering. I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, after all. <laughs> I'm not usually one for waiting around, but maybe I'll make an exception in his case.